Yo, what is up everybody? This is Killer K Rail, and hopefully you're having a great Monday so far. It is still rather early, and if your day is good, crappy, you can always change it. You can smile, and you can change it. Now, I got some questions about the push-up yesterday, so true to form, here I am, I'm back, and I'm gonna tell you about what a strict push-up is. I also call this a classical push-up or a historical push-up. Because I study history. I study the history of exercise and fitness, and I also dig deep into the old journals of the military forces from years ago and how they used to work out and how they used to train. Back in the day, we had gentlemen walking down the streets who had really good posture, who had really lean physiques, who had no back pain, who had no shoulder issues, who had no problems whatsoever hundreds of years ago. And I kind of fashioned my workouts and my training off of what they used to use years ago into modern times now. Because the way I see it is, if something worked a long time ago, who's to say it can't work now? And it absolutely can. So when I instruct push-ups, I'm very particular about those push-ups, and I call them strict push-ups, or I call them classical push-ups. Because back in the day, they did them different than they do them nowadays. So I'm gonna show you some errors that I see nowadays, and I'm gonna show you what a classical push-up looks like and a strict push-up. So I posed this question yesterday about how many push-ups can you do? And I was seeing people posting 40s and 50s and 30s and 20s and all these other things. And honestly, I can probably do about 10 to 15 really good quality strict push-ups. Maybe I can do more. I don't really test myself very often. I was just throwing it out there because I thought it was a fun question to see what kind of responses I would get. So with all that being said, I had some questions posed to me about what is an actual strict push-up. So I'm gonna show you what it is. This is also called a classical push-up. And hopefully I will be in frame. I'm gonna back it on up. Okay, now, a classical push-up. It looks like I have to lower the cameras a little bit. So bear with me here. I don't have a ton of space to work with. Now, what I see in gyms a lot is people like this. Arms are way out here. Butts are up in the air. Butts are sagging down. I'll go from a side angle. I see this, and I see this a lot. And then I see this, okay? This is not a push-up, it's not even close. What, if your elbows are not going down far enough, you're not doing a push-up, you're doing like a, a pulsing plank or something. Now, I do not like elbows being flared out to the sides with a push-up. If your elbows are flared out to the sides and you're doing a ton of push-ups, you're gonna put a ton of stress on your shoulders. And that's why, in history, they didn't do them that way. And they didn't have shoulder problems either. What they did was this. They put their hands directly under their shoulders, then they brought their feet together, they squeezed their abs really tight. It's called bracing. Now what they did is they took their hands and they corkscrewed them into the ground like this, down and back up, okay? And by doing so, they also kept their elbows in by the rib cage. That is a strict classical push-up. So, they would lower themselves down, elbows are in tight, then they would push themselves back up. But they wouldn't just stop at a certain position on the way down. They would go all the way to the ground until either their chest or their chin touched the floor. That is a strict push-up. So let me show you what it looks like. Your hands are directly under your shoulders. Your feet are together. You're going to take a big inhale on the way down. Breathing is very important. Keep your core really tight. And when I say tight, act like someone's going to hit you in the stomach with a baseball bat. That's how tight you want to have your abs when you're doing push-ups. That causes force production when you're coming back up, and it makes your push-ups a lot easier. So we're going to do it like this. Hands on the shoulders. Keep your eyes fixed to the gaze right about there. And we're going to lower yourself down, elbows in tight by your rib cage. Let your chin touch the ground. And then bang, right back up you go. So big inhale down. Right back up. That is a strict push-up. If you want to touch your chest to the floor, you can do it that way too. That is a strict push-up. What you don't want to do is have your hands spaced really wide apart like this. There's all these variations you see on YouTube and online. People doing close grip push-ups, wide grip push-ups, super wide, partially wide, all these other things. You know what? I don't spend time with those things. Classical push-ups are all that matter to me. That's going to be a good quality push-up. It's going to spare your shoulders, it's going to save your shoulders, and it's going to get the work done that you're looking to do. So that right there, my friends, is a strict push-up. So if you think you can do 50 of those in a row, I would be super impressed. I don't know how many I can do. Maybe later today I'll go to the park and I'll try it because it's a beautiful day and there's not a cloud in the sky. But as of right now, that is the only kind of push-up that I pay attention to, and that is what I feel is a safe, good, quality push-up. So try to get your chin to touch the ground, try to get your chest to touch the ground, and push yourself back up. And if you need to modify and start on your knees, that's totally fine. Then start on your knees. 
but make sure to keep those elbows in tight and then push back up because you're not doing this. And when your arms are out like this, too much strain on the shoulders. All right, that's my push-up tutorial. This is Killer K-Rail. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. If you'd like to shoot a video of yourself doing some classical push-ups, I would love to see it. Or if you think you can do 20 or 30 or 40 and you videotape that and send it to me, that'd be great too. Till next time, I have to go break my fast because I've been fasting for 18 hours and I'm hungry. I'll talk to you later.